All right, what's up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really good one. I want to come out with the virtual DJ with their new stems technology. It's called 2.0 stems. I'll know that Serato just came out with the, their new version of stems and it does work pretty well. I did do a little video on it, but I've always been a fan of virtual DJ. And now with this new update, I really think they took it to a new level and I I would have to say I'm a little bit jaded towards virtual DJ. I've always been a fan of virtual D virtual DJ just because it's it's been so widely available and I've really appreciated what virtual DJ has done for me. In the beginning, it was a free program that you could get started on and figure out how to get how how these new DJ softwares worked. Uh, back in 2012, when I kind of first started messing around with DJ software, uh, I always did DJ things with uh, vinyl and just simple transition i wasn't like a turntablist where i was scratching and everything but uh virtual dj really helped me get into the software side because uh, it was free and it really really helped me so i do appreciate uh virtual dj being free it's really easy to use and so i've just always been a, a big fan so of i just it. wanted to kind of you know break it down for you a little bit and show you how to do the download it's not really hard at all Virtual DJ is very, very simple to do updates because they pretty much do them for you. Uh, but I just wanted to show you a couple things. I also tested it out on an older uh, laptop just to see what it says. If you can even, because they say you really need to up your game processor wise to be able to do some of the stems things. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that it worked and how it sounded and things like that. So uh, let's go ahead and fire up virtual dj i just wanted to kind of show you some things too right now so i have virtual dj open right here and we're going to look at what virtual dj looks right now before i do the update because uh, a lot of djs don't show this and i just thought it was interesting so you still have your stems here okay and you do still have a few things here so you have your hot cues your samplers your rollers all these all these things can jump in uh to these boxes down here so it's very very easy to throw in whatever you want here you want your loop roll your, your loop rolls you want your scratch uh different things you want your hot cues save loops you can even get into dmx if you want to control things through dmx it's just really really cool they have the stems remix here where you can uh, do different things you can go you know just um, vocals or things like that now even on here i think the stems sound really really good um Let's see if I can get some music for you. Get a little beat in there. All right, so you can see that's all working. Let's see if I can get uh, music. Or sorry, with the words. Here we go. Here's some words in this one. Uh, All right, so now we have the words, and then we can go just vocals. I like how there's a bleed button. Notice that there's a bleed button to see if you want some of that background to come through. But I think it does sound pretty good. Uh, just their original stems in the first place. Let's go back to the normal stems. This is just vocal. Notice there's that bleed. See some of coming. You can hear some of it coming through. You can really isolate things really, really well. And I did appreciate just the normal stems from this. And they did have the FX stems where you could do uh, the vocal and add things just to the voice, the melody, rhythm section. And it would change all this and you could add as much as you want or little as you want, which is very, very cool. So now when you're finally going to go do the update for these things, uh, all you need to do is usually it does it on startup. So as soon as you connect to the Internet, you'll be able to get that automatic thing. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just shut down and I'm going to go ahead and restart it. And it should take me right to the internet when I get started. And I shut it down. It was that easy. Now I can fire it back up. 
All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and sign on and I'm gonna go ahead, of course, edit this part. Now, see, automatically, now that I signed on, it boosts me saying there is a new version of Virtual Deezer that just updated and it says, try the best stem separation on the market. You will have your mind blown away. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this update. I'm going to show you how to get this update done. Like I said, it was pretty easy. Like I said, I just signed on. Make sure you're on the internet. Make sure you have a good internet connection. And it's pretty quick as well. You're going to go ahead and say yes to the update. It's going to go ahead and shut down the program on its own. Do the update on its own pretty fast. And then it should open on its own as well. See, we're already open. Now, notice the difference already. Okay, so welcome to Virtual DJ, uh, 2023 features, best stems, uh, producing extraordinary clear uh, acapellas. Now it says a high quality system, high quality stems will be available as soon as you load the tracks onto the deck. Oh, which is cool. So you don't have to put them in a special bank or nothing like that. So as soon as you load them on the deck, you're boom, you're going to be using these stems. If you want to reduce the load on your system during the performance, you can uh, prepare in advance. You can prepare them in a, a stems folder that they're going to be able to have for you uh, to be able to do that. Now, on a older laptop, you're going to have to do that. This is my brand new, it's actually a 2021 20, laptop, but late, late year. So uh, late towards the end of the year. This is a Lenovo gaming laptop, Legion. And this is the newest laptop that I have uh, to be able to show you this. But if you do not have, it tells you that you need to have the latest drivers to be able to run this program. Uh, you can run it with other things. You will be able to run it with other things, but it just says that if you have a newer system, it's gonna take a pretty good load on your system. So uh, just know that, but uh, everything will be here. As so, soon as but, you load these tracks in, they're ready to go, and that's what I like about it. So let's go ahead and load the same track that I had in here before. So if you have any issues, make sure you check your volumes and things. I do get a lot of questions about, you know, I can't hear certain things. So after you, we went to my settings, and we configured the audio drivers on the laptop. Boom. We didn't have any issues. So then check your audio on the bottom. Make sure you have volume. Make sure you're on the right audio. Uh, speakers here and you should be able to get your audio again so it's just something to clear that up all right so we do have it back on we got some words here stop to the top so you better back off and get lost i'm gonna stay loud stay proud never running now never heading south i'll be spreading now call it what a mouth can't put me down i'll be getting loud you can never douse not what i'm about have you i think the you can already tell just from when I played it on the old stems version to the new stems version, they sound very crisp, very clear. It's pretty cool. If you rain it now, I can make it sound. Go another round. Jump let jump down. Can't stop me now. You can really, really hear the difference in the sound, in my opinion. Let's see if I can get another one here. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Well, let's go. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rice in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. Now we're just going. We went straight from vocals to, and you can just hear that it's just, it sounds really good. Very, very clear. Quite instrumental. I can't hear any voice, so it's just really, really clear. Now I don't have headphones on, but just from what you're working with here, it's very, very clear. And like I said, you can knock everything out. You have to have the bass. Pretty, pretty cool. I mean, very, very clear. Like, when I first heard it, I was really surprised at the quality. And I was actually using 
an older computer. Like I said, this is the newest computer I have, which I have at my desk. So I, I DJ with a, another computer that's a little bit older. And it still works, like I said, but you actually have to put them in a stems folder here that they do have. Uh, if your computer does not have enough, uh, you can still use the stems and it'll still sound great, but it just takes a little bit of extra work. You can see down here, if you go down in your menu down here, there is this new stems folder. And this is where you can come, you can prepare tracks for separation for stems. Sorta of similar to um, Serato DJ, how they're doing it, where you have to kind of prepare your tracks before they automatically work. Uh, now, like I said, if you have a system that has enough uh, processing power to be able to just throw in the tracks and they're good to go, a really newer, newer computer, that'll work. But if not, then you have to take your music and drop them into the stems. Uh, folder so whatever song you would want so let's go back into my music, my free YouTube music here now yeah, so then we could take this song right here and drop it into the stems prepared file and then we'll go ahead and open this so then once we do that it, it you can actually hear it preparing it right now so it's preparing, you can drop and drag a bunch in, but it's definitely going to take a little processing power. And it's going to basically separate this, just like it does automatically when you throw it in. Like I said, if you have enough processing power, you can just throw it into the boxes and it'll work. But if you do not have enough power, and it tells you at the beginning that your computer is not you know, up to snuff, you're going to want to drop them into the stems file to get the best sound out of them. Uh, once it does all its uh, stems checking and separating everything so you have stems that stem is gone and so now you can go back to your folder that it was in so you know that it's ready to go and see it has a little asterisk here that shows that it's been uh, taken for stems okay uh, so everything is good to go so you do know you have scanned that one and you have it ready to go it's been um, converted for the stems for the best optimization so even if you have a computer that's a little bit older the stems will still work for you and sound pretty good like i said uh, if you have a computer that can handle it they automatically load up right away and that's really really cool that's something that you don't have on some other programs where you have to put them in the stems folders and things like that uh, which is pretty pretty cool now they also have this stems remix that they did have on the old one so like i said you can still do that they also have a stems fx which is really cool so i wanted to show this to you really quick as well all i'm a really big yeah, hitter vocal. big picture i'm a straight killer rise in the song to the highest bidder got juice got gas i'ma move fast new shoes new tracks like who's that you're never gonna look back because damn i was built to last you move slow when i move fast and that's fast so you see how i just did a quick echo out on that this is really going to help you for transitioning this could make some transitioning really really cool and fun uh, i was messing around with this like i said with my older computer and it was working really fantastic just taking something like that echo out uh, really easily through these stems and the fx to do an echo out like that and then just boom right transition right into another song uh, that can really, really be very, very cool. music that I'm able to show you these transitions that I won't get flagged on. Uh, so if you even have, you know, better music, better sound quality, better, uh, you know, file type and things like that, they're going to sound even better. But I really do like the way these stems are working. So these uh, are very, very cool. Slowly take a step what it takes. <laughs> do some cool transitioning like from beats like if you want to if you want to take a song and end it on a particular word 
you could end it on that word, go into the instrumental or the, you know, the, the hook of the song and take it out on some beats. And that is really cool when you can do it in the middle of the song, you know, like in the middle of something that was going, but if you're going to end on that important word or phrase or uh, hook in that song, and that is really, really cool for transitioning. What you can do with transitioning and things like that is going to be really, really cool. Uh, and it gives you really options. So I really recommend the Stems FX part in this. It's very, very cool. You can do so much. Like I said, you can do the voice reverb. I really love the echo out. I do a lot of echo outing, uh, a lot of echo out uh, type transitions and mixing in my mixes. I really love it. Uh, I also like the wordplay that you can do with the echoing out. You could, like I said, go out in a word and then echo back in through a different word uh, into a new track, which would really, really be cool. Uh, I haven't had time to practice that much, but I just absolutely know you could get it done and it'd be really, really cool transitioning. So I've only been a, had, you know, a few hours to kind of play with this and I've just been really impressed of what you could do and the potential with this and how clean it sounds. Uh, so the transitions are going to be really, really fun on this. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to show you today, how to get the update, just a couple things you could do it, how clean it sounds. It sounds really clean. I think you could appreciate it. So just get into Virtual DJ, start playing with this uh, new Stims 2.0 with the Virtual DJ. I, like I said, I've always been a fan of Virtual DJ. So I am jaded a little bit. I think it's really, really cool, but I've always just been impressed how Virtual DJ has been free at first. And then if you really want to get into it, then you can pay for it. Uh, but it's always been free uh, to use. Then once you pay for this, is the full version of the Virtual DJ. And once you have it, you have it for life. You can continue to add whatever you want in your uh, item list of controllers and things, and it's all plug and play. Updates are easy. Things are simple. This, once you learn the different things in Virtual DJ, it's really, in my opinion, once you learn it, it's really easy to use. It's plug and play every time. It's updates are on their own. They do them for you. And then you just go in and you just keep learning the new items as you go. And uh, Virtual DJ is one of my favorite programs. Um, and it keeps expanding and making things a little bit better than the others. And I wish you would get the credit that some other uh, platforms do, like Rekordbox and Serato DJ, which is very, very popular. But like I said, everybody's going to love what they love uh, because it's how it can work for them. Uh, but I've always felt that Virtual DJ has worked the best for me. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest. Hopefully you can get into the stems and start using it today. It's really fun to use. Hopefully this is a helpful video. If this helps anybody out there, please give me a like or subscribe. I have tons more tutorials, tons more items that I review and things like that. So thank you for tuning in to DJ Martini Midwest. We will talk to you all later.